Hi and welcome to the sidebar. We're starting a new feature this week, we're calling it In The Dock, see what we did there, where we examine the reputation of some of Formula One's better known names to figure out whether they really deserve to be viewed as a great or indeed a terrible driver. With that in mind, there's only one place to start. Hi everybody, Matt Trumpets here today to talk about the career of Pastor, the best master of disaster, Maldonado. And let's face it, he's had more than his fair share of detractors, perhaps unfairly. In fact, I think if you take a look at the British press, you could say absolutely unfairly. But the question is why? I mean, let's face it, in addition to his millions from PDVSA, he did bring a fair share of talent, a GP2 championship, and a race win to the table. And I think that brings us to the actual model of Formula One today. Formula One is an exclusive sport, and that exclusivity can occasionally be a code word for certain other things. Formula One does not have a great history of treating the other with fairness. And in this case, given his looks and his language, Pastor falls squarely into that category, which might be a mistake given the dropping TV ratings around the world and how popular he was in South America, birthplace of the world's greatest driver, Juan Manuel Fangio. That said, and on the heels of Bernie Eccleston's comments, we women in the sport, maybe it's time to reconsider the inclusivity model. After all, if you look at Hyundai sales figures compared to Ferraris, you might see that there's an upper limit on exclusivity, and that is something that Formula One should be chewing on right now. Matt Trumpets here, food for thought. Pasta has had a long, illustrious career crashing cars. 2011, Malaysian Grand Prix, Chinese Grand Prix, Turkish Grand Prix, Monaco Grand Prix, Hungarian Grand Prix, Belgian Grand Prix, Italian Grand Prix, Japanese Grand Prix, Korean Grand Prix, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, Brazilian Grand Prix, Australian Grand Prix, oh that's 2012, oh yeah. 2012 British Grand Prix, 2012 Hungarian Grand Prix, Belgian Grand Prix, Indian Grand Prix, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, Brazilian Grand Prix, then on to 2013, Australian Grand Prix, Malaysian Grand Prix, Spanish Grand Prix, Monaco Grand Prix, he likes Monaco doesn't he? Canadian Grand Prix, Belgian Grand Prix, Singapore Grand Prix, Japanese Grand Prix, United States Grand Prix, Brazilian Grand Prix, and then on to 2014. Australian Grand Prix, Bahrain Grand Prix, look, let's just face it, he crashes. Goodbye, good riddance. Bye, Pasta. Pastor Raphael Maldomato Motta is special, very special. His talent was obvious from early in his racing career when he won six consecutive GP2 races for the unfancied Raypax team. On his way to claim the GP2 driver's title in 2010, Maldonado's efforts also brought Raypax their one and only team championship and his record of 10 race wins in a single GP2 season still stands to this day. Having won the GP2 title in style, Pastor Maldonado impressed Sir Frank Williams, who subsequently dropped the talented Nico Rosberg and recruited Pastor in his place to drive alongside Rubens Barrichello for the 2011 Formula One season. Maldonado, the rookie, quickly developed a reputation for being quick, even a one-lap specialist. His average qualifying time in 2011 was over a tenth of a second better than his infinitely more experienced Brazilian teammate. Pasta is just one of 105 drivers to win a Formula 1 Grand Prix. Following his heroics in Barcelona 2012, for lap after lap he doggedly held off the far quicker red Ferrari of Fernando Alonso, coming home to claim Williams' first race win since the 2004 Brazilian Grand Prix. Unfortunately, around 90 minutes after Maldonado's glorious Barcelona victory, his eyebrow grooming fluid spilled and the Williams garage was set in light. Fortunately, no one was hurt and allegedly, Sir Frank Williams couldn't contain his unbounded joy over the team's first GP win in ages that, that Sir Frank nailed a 10 metre long wheelchair wheelie. Now, any driver who can touch Sir Frank in that way has to be special. 
So Pasta has folded a few fenders, bashed the odd bumper or two, and earned a reputation for a no compromise approach to racing. Hmm. Some wild nuts? I know springs to mind. Oh! Lewis Hamilton. Maybe if he'd not started his career in a top team but one mired in the midfield, Hammy's mishaps with Massa, for example, may well have become more widespread. I, for one, am missing Pastor Maldonado this year. And surely you, the fans out there, can't believe that Esteban Gutierrez is a better selection? Well, perhaps a surprising result there. Two out of three of our experts believe Pasta has been harshly treated. Let us know what you think below the video, and we'll see you next time.